you guys did put on a neighborhood production of something, which sounded so we cool. We did. So during COVID, actually, yeah. we started doing outdoor movie nights, screening nights, and we watched The Greatest Showman, and the kids on the block started rehearsing religiously all the musical numbers, and they were telling us, we're going to do a production on Halloween. And after three weeks of rehearsing, my son was like, I don't think you're taking this seriously. <laughs> like, we're really doing the show, and I need a script. But do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like, look, that, those are costumes. Guys. Yeah, like these kids no. are like. Serious. They went all. We did a hybrid show. It was an hour long and a bridged version where I shot ten scenes in front of a green screen. I recorded their voices into the karaoke version of the soundtrack, and then I let them stage themselves so that they could perform all the musical numbers live. See, and that's the silver was, lining that came out yes. of COVID, right? Things like that I when you get together. actually have nostalgia for it sometimes right. because it yeah. was so special. Our neighborhood came to the backyard and we did this one hour hybrid show with these kids between the ages of four and yeah. 11. Aww. It was a six week production. It was, <laughs> it was intense, it I was mean, so fun. That's, that's major. <laughs> yeah. That, and also kids like taking something seriously for that length of time. Oh yeah, and none of them had anything going on. That was the thing, like right. on our block, we live in this little cul-de-sac and everybody's lives were put on pause. My industry was shut down, they didn't have camps, they didn't have schools. So this became this incredible outlet for all of us to yeah. be together in community trying to make the most of this mm. incredibly hard time that yeah, we were all living in.